Hello again, welcome back to the vlog. Got rid of the wild man of Borneo uh, aging rock star look and gone for the uh, 70s porn star. Uh, I'm still sticking with the uh, goatee because I quite like it actually. Uh, don't know if it suits me or not, but I just like it. So we're here once again. I'm going to read another uh, passage from the book for you from uh, Breaking the Tranquility of Solitude Part 2. Hope you like it. So here you go, straight in. No messing around. Let's get the old specs on, make myself look like a mad professor. Uh, he threw the pillow at the wall and the signed picture of the cast of his favourite TV show crashed to the floor, glass splinters flying in all directions. Shit, he, he exclaimed loudly. Language, Broderick Edward Martins. You need to get up now. It's time for school. Mom? Mom? Confusion gave way to panic and he shouted it out. Mom, is that you? Who else would it be, numpty boy? Get up. You've got a test in two hours and you need some breakfast before you go. The sweet voice he had not heard for 27 years circled his head. It couldn't be. But it was. He knew that voice. Where's Dad? Now don't start that, love. You know your dad passed away 18 months ago now. We've been through all this. Just because his body was never recovered, you still have to accept that he couldn't have survived that fall. It was a freak accident and we have to try to put it aside and move along. A single tear rolled down the side of her nose. She wiped it away quickly. Brody turned his head back towards the bed and saw his sheets were moist and realised he himself had been crying as the voice of his grieving mother had reassured him, as it always had. His father had died just 18 months ago and three weeks. I'll rephrase that. His father had died just 18 months and three weeks ago, before his mother. He had supposedly fallen from Niagara Falls, but his body had never been found and his mother had been killed in a road, road traffic accident. Sorry for the mistake there. Uh, correcting myself with my uh, poor reading. But yeah, you can get the idea of uh, what's happening there is, uh, uh, without me going into the details of how and where it happened, he gets launched again, back through a different reality, through a different time frame, and ends up inside uh, the body of an 11 year old child, which is actually him. So he is now himself as 11 year old Brody. Uh, back in some different reality, some different timeline. A little bit like the uh, the film Big, I suppose, you could think of it in that way, but instead of some magic spell that's done it, he's been cast through space and time by Evert. And now he has to live out, or for at least a certain period of time, he has to live out his life all over again from the 11-year-old perspective. But he's now got the 40-year-old perspective of a man. So that throws up its own adventures, and obviously he's now got to try and get back from that, to get back from where he was, to get back to where he was originally, and it all starts to get very complex timelines and realities crossing over. So if you like the idea of that and how that might pan out, go to www.edjpublishing.com, have a read of all my vlogs, uh, sorry, have a read of all my blogs, and you can watch all the vlogs, and there are now quite a few, 70 odd, and it takes you through the whole story from when I first started writing right the way through to now and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy that. So I'll speak to you next week with a different hairstyle and maybe I'll maybe have a shave and get rid of this goatee. But thanks very much for watching. Speak to you soon. Bye bye.